Before we delve into the recent announcements surrounding CERN, it's important to understand what particle accelerators are and why they matter. At the forefront of this field stands the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets located beneath the border of France and Switzerland. Operated by CERN, it is the most powerful and complex particle accelerator humanity has ever built, capable of recreating the very conditions present just moments after the Big Bang. But could this marvel of science, designed to unlock the secrets of the cosmos, also carry the potential for unforeseen, and possibly dangerous, consequences? Founded in 1954, CERN is one of the world's most respected research organizations, with 23 member countries and thousands of scientists and engineers. It serves as a beacon of international collaboration in cutting-edge science. The LHC is CERN's crown jewel but it's only one part of a vast network of accelerators and experiments designed to probe the tiniest building blocks of matter. Imagine a racetrack, not for cars or horses, but for subatomic particles racing at nearly the speed of light. That's the LHC. It propels protons to extreme velocities, forcing them into head-on collisions that mimic the high-energy environment of the universe's birth. These collisions generate temperatures millions of times hotter than the sun's core. An elaborate network of magnets guides the protons, while sophisticated cooling systems maintain the collider at a temperature colder than outer space itself. At four key points on the collider ring, these beams intersect. Here lie the LHC's primary particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each detector is tasked with studying different aspects of particle interactions. Together, they function as enormous digital cameras, capturing the aftermath of collisions in intricate detail. Scientists comb through the resulting data, searching for signs of rare particles like the Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and investigating concepts like dark matter and supersymmetry, cornerstones of modern theoretical physics. These studies help us understand not just the micro world of particles, but the grand architecture of the universe itself. Yet, for every question answered, new mysteries emerge. The LHC is more than a tool. It's a symbol of human curiosity, a testament to our unending drive to understand the nature of existence. But with this boundless curiosity comes responsibility and risk. What are the consequences of pushing the boundaries of known physics? Could our search for truth accidentally unlock forces beyond our control? Within CERN's hallowed halls, a recent revelation has stirred both excitement and fear. Renowned physicist Brian Cox, a former CERN researcher and public science communicator, recently reignited global fascination with a chilling statement. The LHC's mission is essentially to create a miniature version of the Big Bang. That is, to recreate, on a tiny scale, the explosive conditions that gave birth to time, matter, and space itself. Cox emphasized that this endeavor opens the door to astonishing breakthroughs, deeper understanding of the Higgs field, the discovery of dark matter, and perhaps even evidence of other dimensions. To wield the power of creation itself, to hold the raw essence of existence in the palm of scientific exploration, is thrilling. Yet it's also terrifying. This isn't a mere theoretical possibility. The conditions required for a mini Big Bang, temperature, pressure, energy, are very real inside the LHC. It's as if we are standing at the brink of time, peering into the very moment of Genesis. But with that power comes an unsettling question. What happens if something goes wrong? There is historical precedent for such concerns. In 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bogorsky experienced a freak accident while working at the U-70 synchrotron in Protvino, Russia. A proton beam accidentally passed through his head, entering from the back of his skull and exiting through his nose. He saw a flash, brighter than a thousand suns, yet felt no immediate pain. Despite severe damage, including destroyed tissues, hearing loss, and partial facial paralysis, Bogorsky survived, remained cognitively intact, and continued his scientific work. His experience stands as a harrowing reminder of the power latent within particle beams, and the unpredictable risks that come with them. Now consider the scale of the LHC compared to earlier accelerators. Its energy output is vastly greater, 
raising legitimate questions among scientists about unpredictable reactions and spacetime manipulation. One particularly provocative concern is the possibility that collisions could briefly create miniature black holes. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. They are nature's ultimate vacuum cleaners, capable of consuming stars and reshaping galaxies. Could the LHC, in its attempt to simulate the Big Bang, accidentally form such an entity? CERN has addressed this concern multiple times, assuring the public that any black holes formed would be microscopic and unstable, vanishing almost instantly due to a process called Hawking radiation. Still, the possibility, even if remote, has sparked intense debate, anxiety, and awe at the limits of scientific power. To understand how a black hole might form in the LHC, consider this analogy. Imagine a stretched trampoline. When you place a heavy object on it, the surface warps, pulling nearby items toward the weight. In high-energy collisions, spacetime itself may warp in a similar way, potentially creating a tiny gravitational well, a black hole. According to some quantum theories, if extra dimensions exist, as proposed by string theory, they might become accessible at extremely high energies, like those achieved at the LHC. Under these conditions, a gravitational collapse forming a black hole becomes theoretically possible. This idea has even drawn attention from legendary physicists like Stephen Hawking, who warned in his work about the possibility of a catastrophic chain reaction triggered by vacuum decay. Such an event, if initiated, could destabilize the Higgs field and collapse the universe into a lower energy state. While purely hypothetical, the mere notion emphasizes the scale of power being harnessed at CERN. Similarly, British astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees has warned about the risks of high-energy physics experiments. In his book Our Final Hour, he voiced deep concerns over the LHC and speculative dangers like vacuum instability. He suggested that although the likelihood is vanishingly small, even a one in a billion chance of destroying the universe demands careful consideration. While many physicists have since run complex simulations and safety models to dismiss these worst-case scenarios, the questions persist. Cox himself has reaffirmed the LHC's safety record, emphasizing that the collider's energy levels, while enormous, are no greater than what occurs naturally in cosmic ray collisions that strike Earth's atmosphere every day. The black holes we might produce, if they appear at all, would be microscopic and vanish in less than a billionth of a second. Still, speculation abounds. Some have proposed that the LHC could open portals to other universes, or even alternate realities. While most physicists dismiss such notions as fringe science or science fiction, the public imagination has seized on them. Talk of wormholes, gateways, or even doors to hell, has flourished in online forums and conspiracy theories. Where do these ideas come from? In part, from legitimate physics. String theory suggests the universe may have more dimensions than we can perceive, perhaps as many as 10 or 11. These dimensions could be curled up or hidden, but accessible under extreme conditions. If the LHC were to breach these boundaries, we might briefly glimpse or even interact with these unseen layers of reality. This doesn't mean CERN is summoning demons or triggering apocalyptic events. But it does reflect the fact that we are conducting experiments at the very frontier of human knowledge, pushing against the veil of the unknown. In conclusion, the Large Hadron Collider is not just a tool for science. It is a portal into the deepest mysteries of existence. It represents the boldness of human ambition and the courage to explore what lies beyond. But with every discovery comes responsibility. As we unlock the forces that shape the universe, we must also be ready to confront the ethical, existential, and philosophical questions that follow. We are not just building machines, we are writing the next chapter of human understanding. Whether that story ends in enlightenment or unforeseen peril depends on the care, wisdom, and humility with which we proceed. The ultimate question remains. Can we understand the universe without losing control of it?